Aloha, welcome to Experience 12, Jamba Juice 1, our first entry into TypeScript classes and creating classes to represent items in the world. So we're going to implement a Jamba Juice menu item and a Jamba Juice menu. So in this about eight years ago, Jamba Juice opened a store in Manoa and they had that menu, take a picture of it from eight years ago. Each menu item can be represented as having a name, the list of ingredients, a price for small, medium, and large, and the calories for small, medium, and large drinks. So we're gonna create a type to describe that small, medium, and large object, and then we're gonna create some classes to go along. So what we're gonna do is practice our WAD technique. And so we're gonna start our timer. And then I'm gonna open the TypeScript Playground in a new tab. Um, you may see your old code, your previous code, whatever. We are gonna start by erasing whatever code you find in there. And we're gonna start our um, WAD. So we're gonna first, I wanna define this um, size item type. And so it's equal to an object who has a size key, or excuse me, small key of type number, a medium of type number. My fingers aren't working. And a large key. And then I want to create my menu item class. And it has a name, which is a string. Um, it has ingredients, which is a string array. It has prices, which is a size item. And it has calories is a size item. And of course, TypeScript is complaining because I ha I don't have a constructor to initialize these member variables. So let's make a constructor that takes a name, an ingredients, string array, prices, size item and calories size item this dot name equals name this prices this dot calories equals calories. So we got our constructor. We can now create these menu items. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't look like we need any um, methods on this object yet. So let's create an instance of the papaya sunrise. Let's open can I open image in a new tab so it may be bigger so papaya sunrise const papaya yeah sunrise which is a menu item equals new menu item whose name sunrise whose ingredients is papaya, strawberry, and peach. Am 
Ah, quotes. And peach. I'm making them all lower cases because they actually are all lower cases in the um, menu. Then we have prices. Small is uh, five fifteen. Medium is five seventy five. And large is six fifty five. And then I need calories. No, actually, this is calories, which is another size item. Small, which is 190. Medium, which is 280. And large, which is 330. And then we want to create a peach perfection. Peach perfection, which is got a name. Peach perfection. And Peach Perfection has peach, mango, and strawberry. Peach, mango, and strawberry. I'm not sure that the order of the items in the array are, is important, um, but I'm just leaving it the same as the menu. And then the cost is the same, or the prices are the same, but the calories are different. Calories are 210. 210. Um, 320. 20 and 360. Okay, let's make C, V. It's the last one we're going to make. Straw, oh, four of them. So, not the last one. So, we're going to do a strawberry dragon. Strawberry Dragon has Pitaya. Pitaya. Strawberry. Strawberry Orange. Fruit. Did I get that right? Strawberry, orange, passion fruit, mango. Go and banana. The small is five eighty five. Medium is six twenty five. And the large is 685. Calories are 
360, 360, 480, and 610. Just put some spaces to make it nice. If we were running ES lint, they would want spaces. And then lastly, we are making a strawberry whirl. And a strawberry whirl has strawberry, banana, and apple. Strawberry. Banana. Apple. The price is the same as the other ones. Yep, no special prices. So I'll just copy this. And paste it here. And it's 210, 310, 380. 210, 310. And 380. So we've got our four. We want to create a menu which provides us that provides access to one or more menu items. Instance. It has some methods called add menu item and a fine menu items with an ingredient. It takes a string and returns all the menu items that contain that ingredient. So we want to create a class menu. And we need to store menu items. So we want to say, I don't know, items. Maybe I'll even menu items, which is a menu item array. And we're going to initialize it to be empty. So we, because what would the constructor do? It creates an empty array. And so I don't even need a constructor at this point. But I do need a method called add menu item. Oops, that takes an item that is a menu item and it's going to say menu items dot push item and it's this we want to access the access the member variable now we're not worried about if it's already in there we're causing duplicates we're not worried about that then we have a um, another one that's called find menu items. Ingredient, which is a string, and this returns a menu item array. And I should add the type here that it returns void because we don't actually return anything. So now let's do a menu. Wait, no. Const ret val, which is a menu item array, and it's equal to empty. And then we can return ret val. 
So we're happy now. Uh, but now what we want to do is do a this dot menu items dot for each. We're going to loop over all the menu items that in our menu. We have a function menu item and we want to say if item oops, dot ingredients oh this that's not item it's menu item come on dot ingredients dot includes ingredient so if that string is in the array of ingredients then we say Brett val dot push menu item and let's think about that a little bit so we loop over all the menu items that we have for each one we check to see if their list of ingredients includes the ingredient that we're finding if we do we push it onto the return value and then we return it okay looks pretty good so we want to create a class of menu add the four menu items then we okay so we want to create a const menu equals new menu menu dot add item papaya sunrise menu dot add menu item peach perfection menu dot add menu item strawberry dragon menu dot add menu item strawberry whirl then we want to say console dot blog menu dot find menu items for mango Let's make sure that that's what we were asked to do create an instance menu add the four menu instances use the find to find the men two menu items are made with mango let's run this and we get the peach perfection that has mango and we get the strawberry dragon that has mango and we have two items so let's take a look we got it we got the two we want to press share to create our url which will be unique or will let us load this actual thing for when we do jamba juice 2 and then stop my timer so did it in 1745 which is not bad I've had a lot of practice with TypeScript and classes, so I have a good understanding of how to do this, so that time is not unreasonable at all. If you don't, if you DNF or if you don't get a nice, good, you know, around the average time, you may want to clear your TypeScript playground and start again and practice, practice, practice. This is just all about practicing, getting familiar with your tools, you know, using the TypeScript playground for now, creating types, creating classes, typing our um, variables, um, and then creating the variables. Thank you very much. Have a great day.